Hoops. My name is Matt Kuman. I am excited to be with you guys wherever I am today. If it's in your living room, in your basement, I am excited to be with you guys today. I wanted to give you a quick recap before we get into groups questions today about the series we're in and what happened over this past week. So um, if you didn't get a chance to see the message, um, we're in our fifth week of the Galatians series. So we're slowly going through the book of Galatians and learning about what grace means and why we matter to God. Um, so this past week was the fifth week in that series. Um, and specifically, it was this idea that, uh, and many of you may find this verse familiar. It's this verse from Galatians 5 that says, But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Um, so Eric talked about how there's this uh, almost miss misinterpretation of how we view this and that we should, how do we try and do these things in our lives? Like how do we get more joy or how do we get more peace? But he had this illustration of like a tree. Like an apple tree doesn't focus really hard on trying to grow an apple, right? It doesn't worry about its life and think, I hope I don't grow a rock tomorrow, right? It doesn't make sense. The apple tree doesn't focus on that. It knows that if it's watered, if it's fertilized, like it's going to grow an apple. In the same way, um, Paul's explaining that if we have those things in our life, if we have the the Spirit and the fruits of the Spirit, then we're naturally going to um, kind of multiply Jesus' disciples and give that kind of thing out of our lives. There's going to be fruit that comes out of our lives if we practice some of those things. So that's a little bit about what the message was about. Before we get into groups questions, I want to ask you uh, an icebreaker question. Uh, Eric, like I just said, used this illustration um, and used a teaching in his illustration of this idea that when they talked to their son uh, about eating as many fruits and veggies as they wanted, he just went to town on them. Um, what is the most exotic fruit or vegetable that you've ever had? Um, I went to Costa Rica back in like eighth grade, I believe, when I was in middle school, and I there was so many exotic fruits that I had never had, like papyra, papyra, papyrus, papyrus is a Something you write on, I think. Papaya, right? That's right, yeah. Papaya. So I had that. That was fantastic. That's probably my exo most exotic one. And I don't know if I've had one since because when you have fruit when you come back to Michigan that's been like from Costa Rica, it's just not nearly as good as right in the spot. So that's my most exotic fruit. What is yours? All right, groups, let's dive into the discussion questions then. Uh, question number one, have you ever been overwhelmed by the challenges that Jesus gives in our lives? Um, for example, thinking even to the Great Commission out of the book of Matthew when Jesus calls us to go and make disciples. Um, is this something you could ever accomplish? And if it is, why? If it isn't, why not? Question number two, what fruits of the Spirit are active in your life? Question number three, is everyone, so everybody, is everyone equipped with all of the fruits of the Spirit? Why or why not? Number four, how can you specifically grow in the fruits of the Spirit? Next question, um, and I want you guys to engage this one a little bit more. Um, has there been a time in your life where a fruit of the Spirit showed up that you had not had before? Right, It's one that you maybe 
or weekend and a situation occurred that all of a sudden you needed to be way better and God provided you with it. The Spirit came into your life and showed you a gift that you didn't necessarily have before. Uh, What were those moments like? Last question is this, in what areas of your life do you need to decide to stop relying on your own strength and start relying on God instead? All right, guys, that is it for our uh, discussion questions. If you guys as a group have some time um, and want to dive into the digging deeper sections, I'd love it if you could do that. It's actually pretty interesting that the big question that you're going to be looking at is, is anyone tired all the time? I know for me, that's constant right now. We wake up every like two and a half hours yet, but we're loving it. But we are tired all the time. But what are some reasons why? And I'm going to let you guys look into that. There's a few scripture passages you can dive into. Um, But if not, uh, continue to live life together. Have fun. Have conversations about what's going on in your guys' life. Um, Until we see each other again, I hope you guys have a great week. um, And we'll talk to you soon.